YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a comparison video. I am going to compare the Coach Soft Tabby to the Tally Bucket Bag. Now, you may have seen the Tally Bucket Bag for sale on some of the department store websites where they actually call it the tabby bucket bag. And of course the soft tabby is always called the soft tabby, but you may notice that the closure for these two bags is pretty much the same in terms of the C. Now the tally folds over the top and also has a zipper while the soft tabby closes with a magnetic closure like so. They both have magnetic closures and they both come with a couple of straps. And I'd like to get into the straps now and then I'll get into the inside of each of these bags here in just a second. So this is the webbed strap that comes with the tally bucket bag in the red orange color. There's also a new version of the red orange that comes with a brown strap that's on sacks. And I will link that in the description box. But the summertime version that went on sale on the Coach website and then later on the outlet came with this particular strap. In addition to that strap, the Tally bucket bag also came with this grommeted strap. And when I say grommets, I'm talking about these little bits right here of gold that dress up and reinforce the holes on the strap, the adjustability holes on the strap. When you look at the soft tabby, the strap is pretty much identical. I do wanna compare the length and see if it's a little different because I have noticed that my camera bag straps, at least the webbed ones, are significantly longer than that of the tally bucket bag. So let me check. Let's see if the holes are in the same position on these two straps. And they are not. The tally bucket bag lets you have your bag just a little bit shorter. And that makes a lot of sense because the bucket bag is longer from here to here than it is wide. And the soft tabby is opposite. So whenever you go to put your strap on, you're gonna want the tally to be just a little higher on your body so that it doesn't drop down too far on your leg. The soft tabby, because it's a side-to-side, -side, an east-west bag versus a north-south bag, you can have the strap setting be a little longer on this bag than on this bag, and you can see the difference there. There is a significant difference. If you go this way, it's almost identical. If you go from the top edge of the tally compared to side-to-side -side on the soft tabby, but of course the tally dips down in the middle, so it's a little bit less high right here than it is right here. So when you look at the measurements on the Coach website, the Tally bucket bag measures over 11 inches wide, and this confuses some because the measurements are taken right here at the top versus right here at the bottom, which is around 8 inches wide. So this bag may seem a lot bigger if you go off the measurements on the website than it actually is, because you're not gonna be able to use the top corners here very much for your items. Most of your items are gonna be in the bottom half of the bag, at least for me, that's the case. Now you may put a scarf or something on top and use that horizontal space more than I do, but I kind of like it to be flat up at the top, so my items are mostly from here to here. Even though the soft tabby isn't as tall, it's still the same situation for me where I use mostly the bottom part of the bag for my items. And the reason is because this top flap shows lumps and bumps here real easy if you put stuff up at the top that's too big for the bag. I'm just gonna show you how I organize this bag. I've done it before, but I just wanna do it again and then I'll show you how I do the tally with the same items. So I have an organizer in here. It's from SUNY Bag and & Bag, and it has four pockets. It has two on the back and two on the front. And then I also have this pocket right here that's part of the soft tabby bag, and I also have a zippered pocket here on the back. 
I generally throw my phone right in on top and my medicine pouch and this little card case right here. So I'm gonna take those out and I'm gonna set them to the side so I can show you how it all looks in the tally bucket bag here in a minute. SUNY Bag and Bag will send you these little slip holders and I use these in the pockets to hold my extra cards as opposed to a card case when I'm using a bag that has more limited space because it just fits in those slots so well and it doesn't stick up as high as some of my card cases do. And then I just have a random check I need to cash there, but I've got this pouch, which is a Clinique pouch. I have this pouch, which you can get in a set of three from Amazon. It's kind of a gold metallic. I think they're $7.99 for all three. And then at the ends of the pouches, I stick these two items, my AirPods case and my hand sanitizer. And then at the very end of the case, the case is just a tiny bit not wide enough for this bag. So I stick my key fob there at the very end and it holds it tight in place so I don't lose it. So here's the organizer that I put in my soft tabby. I have one for every single one of my bags and I love it. Then in the zipper pocket here, I have papers and gift cards and, and cash and that's it. And then in the back pocket, the other day I put the checks I needed to cash. And right now I just have, I just have one check left that I need to give to somebody actually. So now my bag is totally empty. When you look at the inside of the soft tabby, it's suede here on the back panel. And then when you look inside, it's got the 1941 fabric around the other three sides of the interior. The soft tabby comes with a short strap and then a long grommeted strap, which I just showed you, and then also a web strap. And I'll get to the web straps here in just a minute. I'm thinking I may just switch into this bag right now since I'm doing this video. And that way, this is not a wasted effort. I have a organizer in here and I wanna say the company is Green Tag Organizers and I can link this product down below. It's a really nice match for the Tally bucket bag. It's very soft. SUNY Bag and Bag makes one that is more substantial than this that I have in my other Tally bucket bag. And I will probably, I will probably order the ones from SUNY Bag and Bag because I like a little bit more structure for my upcoming Tally purchases, should there be any. But this one works great. It has one big pocket that I sewed into two pockets so that I can use it much like I did in my soft tabby. If you're looking for a lightweight made in the USA organizer, this is fantastic. I like a little thicker organizer and I don't mind the extra weight. So while I like this, when I, or if I wink, wink, get any more tally bags, I'll probably order the ones from SUNY Bag and Bag for that. And the ones I use from SUNY Bag and Bag are actually designed for the Neo Alma BB, the Empreinte version, and that's a bag by Louis Vuitton. And they fit just a little tighter than this one does. You can see there's just a little bit of a gap there, but honestly, I don't need that space for what I have, so it's not a problem. So let's start out. I'm gonna put the two card cases in to the pockets, if they'll fit and they don't fit. That pocket was not wide enough to fit the SUNY bag and bag little inserts. So I'm tossing those and I'm just putting the cards in that were in those two little slip pockets. And they're tight enough in there that they're not gonna come out. Probably even if I turn the bag, whoops. I was saying they're tight enough in there so that they won't fall out, but then one did when I flipped it over. Actually two did. So maybe I can't turn my bag upside down with those in there without them coming loose. I'm gonna put the bigger pouch in the bottom here. See, that fits, no problem. The smaller pouch in the bottom there, perfection. I may go ahead and put the one gift card I have in the pocket that had the cards that fell out when I flipped it over. That'll make it a little tighter. I'm gonna put my papers, checks, and cash all in the slip pocket. 
There's a slip pocket inside the tally bucket bag. The soft tabby has the zippered pocket inside and outside. So I'm losing a pocket there. And also this organizer, it doesn't have pockets on this side. I believe that you can request those starting September if you want to have pockets on both sides of your organizers. And you can also request that this one big pocket be made into two pockets, but he was not available to do that until September. But with SUNY Bag and Bag, you can request the pockets to be configured however you want to. So either one of those options in just a week or two will be available to you. Okay, so I have my AirPods case. I'm gonna slide that in at the end. I have my key fob. I'm gonna slide that in at the other end. I have my hand sanitizer. Really, all the items sort of fit in there, but they're not tight. And then I've got my medicine and my card case. And you can see I have a ton of room for my phone in this bag. There's no issue with that. So I would say this bag is just a little bit roomier. It does have a zippered closure if you want to close it. So that would keep those cards from flying out if it flips over. But I tend to just use it with the magnetic closure because I feel like that is pretty darn secure. And even if it flew out of your car seat onto the passenger side floor, most of your items are gonna stay in there. You might lose a hand sanitizer or something that you have to retrieve. But I try to keep my bags from flying, so I don't really have a problem using it this way, even without those cards being in there super tight. I do have these two little card cases that I keep those two sets of cards in generally. And I'm gonna just see if these fit into those slip pockets because if they did, they would be tighter than what I have going on right now. And they do. I'll show you here in just a second. This is gonna make it so where my items don't go flying, except for maybe that hand sanitizer. And I could put a pouch, an additional pouch in there for that, but I don't really want to. So there you go. I've got the two card cases right there. So my items are nice and snug. The only thing is that rather than having a real tight spot to put the hand sanitizer, my key fob, and my AirPods, as well as these items were sort of laid on top on the staff tabby, just like they are here on the tally. But you can see stuff's not flying out. It's in there pretty good. And I do like that I can use my card cases with this bag because those weren't cheap and it's fun to use those pieces whenever I can. So now I've got the bag all packed and ready to go and my soft tabby is ready to go back on the shelf. So I'm going to show you the webbed straps now. Most soft tabbies do not come with web straps, but this one did and the pistachio one did as well. This one is really almost the same color as the light coral pillow Madison and all the light co coral colored bags that Coach had in the spring summertime collections. It's just a hair darker, but it works great if you do have any bags in the color light coral, like for instance, the Tyler 28, this strap looks nice with those. It's just a hair darker, but I have found that with fabric straps, you rarely get a perfect match. If it's almost the same, it's really not discernible once you have the bag on. I'm going to fully extend these two straps so we can see the difference in length. I've showed you the difference between the camera bag straps and the tally bucket bag strap, but I have never showed you the difference between the tally bucket bag and the soft tabby. So here we go. We're going to start from the end and then I'm going to just put them together until I get to the other end. The difference, as you can see, is pretty small between these two bags. In fact, it's about the difference between the grommet adjustability that I showed you earlier on the leather straps. So you do have just a tiny bit of extra length with the soft tabby, but it's not anything that would be very significant. The soft tabby also comes with a short strap. And this is one of my favorite ways to wear this bag is just on the shoulder. I really do not like this coral strap with my vanilla soft tabby. I don't like how different the color is. I wish that the strap had been mostly the pale yellow and then just a hint of the coral if they were gonna use a secondary color or maybe even a different secondary color. 
So I don't use this strap for this bag, but I do like it with my Coral Tyler 28. And I believe it's light Coral Tyler 28. Looks great with that bag. So my favorite way to carry this bag is on the shoulder. My favorite way to carry this bag is crossbody with the webbed strap. At first when I saw this bag, I thought that it was absolutely crazy and nuts for them to put a pink strap with a red orange bag. But when I went to the store during the sale, I discovered that it wasn't so crazy after all. And I'm just gonna try it on for you. So as you can see here, this bag, I think it looks amazing with the pink strap. And it looks even better if I were to wear something of more color than I have on, like navy, for example. Even a pure white looks amazing. I like for it to be just a little shorter for security purposes. I like to be able to put my hand on my bag, but I can't get it too short because this buckle right here will dig in up on my shoulder. I could do this and put the buckle on the back when I'm carrying it, but then if I sit down with the bag, the buckle would be digging into my back. I just shortened it a little more. That actually puts the buckle up closer to the top of my back. I do think that if I was going to wear this bag for any length of time, having the buckle in the back while I'm standing at least would be the most comfortable way to wear it. If you choose to wear it with the leather strap, that's a really nice option as well. And certainly more elegant because you have a single color palette. And this strap is extremely comfortable with the buckle in the front. It doesn't hit me and hurt on the shoulder. So I love it like this too. Now the soft tally, I like to wear it on the shoulder like this. Sometimes if I have more items in it, that's not quite long enough for me. And that's when buying an extender like this off Amazon makes a lot of sense. These come either singly or in a set of two. And they basically just give you that extra length with your bag see that. For the last couple of days, I've been wearing the bag just like this, and I love it. Honestly, I think you could just forget about the web strap with this bag, and I think Coach may have done just that because all the ones that I see available now come with the two straps. When I bought this bag, it was retail for $4.50, and it came with three straps. The other soft tabbies that I have were all 395 retail, except for the Jacquard one. It was just a little more. And all of the ones, but this one just came with the two straps. Unfortunately, now those are marked up and are more expensive, and they are all at the $450 price point, except for the Jacquard, and I'm not sure what price point that's at. It may be at $450, but it might also be $25 higher than that. A lot of the coach bags went up in price recently, but the Tally bucket bag is one that seems to have escaped that price hike, and it is still $395 at the moment. And with a little bit of finagling, you can get this bag at a discount. You can get it for 15% off, and I'm not talking about this color necessarily. This color, you can still find it on sale, and if I can find any of those, I will link it down below. But if you're looking for black, chalk, or canyon, you can still find this bag at a discount if you buy it from Neiman Marcus, and I can link it down below as well. What you do is you sign up for their newsletter with an email that you haven't used with Neiman before and they'll send you a discount code. You can still check out just as normal and then you can use that code to get 15% off. There's another site right now you can also get a discount on this bag and the Soft Tabby as well. You can get discounts on both these bags at Neiman for that matter. There's another site you can get a discount on this bag as well, but it's a little different. It's Bloomingdale's, and right now they are offering their PowerPoints for Loyalists. So this bag will earn you a $75 gift card. And then you can use that gift card as soon as the item ships for whatever you'd like. So in my mind, that's kind of like taking $75 off the price, bringing it down to $320. And again, I'm not necessarily talking about this color. I'm talking about the chalk and the black colors. If the soft tabby is available on Bloomingdale's or Neiman Marcus, you should be able to get the same deal as I just talked about with the tally bucket bag. I found that the 
15% off worked on coach items with Neiman Marcus. There may be exceptions out there, but when I tried, it did work. And as far as the PowerPoints go, they apply pretty much to every coach item that I saw. Either way, you can save yourself some money. Don't forget, if you sign up for Rakuten and Top Cash Back, you can often get 10% back on Neiman Marcus or 10% back on Bloomingdale's. And if you haven't signed up for one of those already, then you can get a bonus for signing up. And I always link those in all my videos. It's a great way to get money a couple months down the road, which saves you some change on the bags, especially when they're not on sale. But even when they are, a little bit of extra money never hurt anybody. So the last thing I would like to compare between these two bags is the leather. The leather on the two bags feel very similar, but I would say that the soft tabbies leather is a little bit thinner than the leather on the tally bucket bag. It definitely feels like it's a lighter weight bag to me than this bag is. And of course I've got this bag fully loaded, but I'm talking just in general. I think this bag is a little bit lighter weight than the tally bucket bag. I'm gonna weigh each one of these bags without straps and without organizers so that I can show you the difference between the two. The tally bucket bag is one pound, 2.7 ounces. And then I'm going to weigh my Dove Gray Soft Tabby. It is one pound. So the general feel that this bag is lighter holds true when I weigh it on the scale. So if you've enjoyed this video comparing the tally bucket bag to the Coach Soft Tabby, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring my notification bell so that you don't miss future exciting content such as this. I'm Erin, I'm the Handbag Housewife. You can find me on Instagram under the same name where you can DM me to keep in touch and you can also email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.